Now, once you get past that portion, now that you understand how much power can be generated, now you gotta calculate how many hours per day it can generate that kind of power. Okay. And once again, you've got a lot of technical tools online, and I'm not gonna say ChatGPT, <laughs> Many of the AI systems are able to help you out by plugging in your address and plugging in uh, your solar panel and saying, hey, you know what, how much solar power generation could I expect from this type of a system? Uh, they can actually help you out to tell you how many uh, kilowatt hours you're able to produce in a day. And quite frankly, it goes, normally, we're here in Georgia. Uh, most of my power generation time comes between about 8 in the morning and six in the afternoon. And it, it, obviously there's a, a nice gradual curve where it goes, start going up and then it peaks out at around two o'clock mm -hmm. between one and three in the middle of the daytime. That's what it, it peaks out at. And usually that's peaking out, even though I have a 15 kilowatt system, uh, it peaks out somewhere in a neighborhood of around 11 or 12 usually. I've not seen 15, 15 yet, okay. Okay. has not happened. Uh, can, you but, buy the, can you buy the panels without the batteries? Yes. You can, we'll get to that. Okay. We'll, 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 we'll get to that. Okay. Uh, but you, you put the panels all over your house and what they do, they put the panels in such an orientation where it's gonna get the most sunlight throughout the day for the bulk of the year, primarily the winter season because that's when the sun is the lowest point in the sky. So typically that means your panels are gonna be on the south facing side of your house. If you don't know which side is south, grab a compass or grab your phone with a compass program on there figure out which side is south, right. and if that's the one covered with trees, you may not be a good candidate. Hmm. Or if you're not getting a lot of sunlight. If, however, you have a lot of sunlight on your southern part of your roof, then you're gonna be a pretty good candidate for it. On the east and west sides, yeah, you're gonna get a lot of sun from that side in, in general, but it's very brief. That's usually in the morning and the afternoon. The ones on the south side are gonna get it all throughout the day. So that's where they try to put the bulk of the panels at.